today guys today we're going to look at module 2 still microeconomics topic 2 the effects of cost and revenue so in this topic there's a couple of calculations that you should know and one or two graphs but it's really not that complicated I will still get back to the graphs on the perfect competitor where it makes a total cost total revenue and profit and loss okay but i'm just um just waiting for the announcement tonight to see hopefully we know more or less when school will start again and we will go through that again right the effects of cost and revenue in this topic we're going to look at the objectives of the business now obviously already you can think the objective of a business is to make a profit we're going to look at short run costs long run costs revenue calculations changes in the revenue and then profit and losses so the objective of a business a business usually exists to make a profit and it wants to maximize its profits graphically remember my profit maximization point is where my mc curve equals my mr in other words where they meet each other where they cut each other Short run cost, very important. When cost changes, output production will also change. So if it's gonna cost me more to produce goods and services, I might produce less. If it's going to cost me less to produce goods and services, I'm going to produce more. Now total cost, TC, divided into two categories. TFC, that's my total fixed cost, so that's the cost that stays the same every month, like the rent that I pay. Um, then total variable cost, TVC, is the cost that changes every month. For example, um, materials, production mater uh, materials that I have to buy, depending on how many goods I produced. Total fixed cost will remain unchanged regardless if the output is altered. So even if the output increases, total fixed costs will always remain the same. They include insurance premiums, rent, interest paid on loans, etc. These costs will not vary with output as long as the business remains in business. Total variable costs, TVC, costs that change with the output, this includes Hiring more workers, obviously we're going to pay them more salaries or more wages. And also my raw materials that I buy, my, my factors of production and packaging. Right, so there they show you, for example, mints to make patties. And there's a McDonald's where they produce or they make the burgers and the chips and sell them to the customers. So total cost is therefore equals to total fixed cost plus total variable cost. In other words, TC, total cost, is equals to TFC plus TVC. Okay, you'll see a lot, especially in this topic, also other topics. For this topic, we make use of the abbreviations. We don't write out total cost the whole time. We just say TC. So you must just know what it stands for couple of calculations on the average cost average fixed cost a fc will be total fixed cost divided by the total price the total product sorry the total product in other words the, quant qu the quantity of the product average variable cost will be tvc total variable cost divided by the total product average cost will going to be TC total cost divided by the total product. So in other words, quantity. Or AFC plus AVC. Note, as output increases, the AFC will decrease. That's the fixed cost. Marginal cost. Remember the word marginal means additional or extra. It refers to the change. Change we always indicate with a triangle in economics. 
in terms of costs or an increase in the cost of producing one additional unit. So therefore, marginal cost equals the change in total cost divided by the change in the quantity. Then they give you a cost schedule. Now in a test or exam, we can give you a similar schedule and we can leave some of the places open and say A, B, C, D, you must complete them. All right. Here you must just follow the formulas. All right. So first of all, total fixed cost, you will see all of them is 100. So even if the reduction level changes from 1 to 12, total fixed cost stays the same. Fixed cost never changes. Total variable cost, you'll see as output increases, I'll put here my total production, my total variable cost will also increase. Then my total cost, they say 2 plus 3. So in other words, my fixed cost plus my variable cost will give me my total cost. Then marginal cost is most the additional cost that incurred. Right, and how do we calculate that? They say the change in 3 or the change in 4. Okay, in other words, if I say 50 minus 30, it's going to give me 20. 60 minus 50 is going to give me 10. 65 minus 60 is going to give me 5. The same over here. 150 minus 130 is going to give me 20. 160 minus 150 is going to give me 10. 165 minus 165. So you just follow the pattern the whole time. So it's the next one minus the previous one. That will give you your marginal cost. Average fixed cost will be number two, yes, number two, divided by number one. That means the production level, my quantity. Right, so every time I'm just going to take my fixed cost divided by my production level. So 100 divided by one will be equals to 100. 100 divided by two will be equals to 50. So you just follow the pattern again. Average variable cost, again, will be the variable cost column number three divided by column number one so 30 divided by one is 30 50 divided by two equals to 25 the next one would have been 60 divided by three equals to 20 all right so just follow the calculations there at the top and lastly the average total cost will be number 4 divided by 1 or number 6 divided by number 7. We normally use 4 divided by 1. Right, so that will be 130 divided by 1 will be equals to 130. 150 divided by 2 will be 75. 160 divided by 3 will be equals to 53.33 so you just follow again that same formula for the whole table right now they can ask you from a cost schedule draw a graph indicating your total cost your total fixed cost and your total variable cost now if we use that information in that cost schedule that they gave us there this is what my graph would have looked like fixed cost remembers 100 so at every given output up until 12, it would have just stayed the same, 100. Okay, the total variable cost, I would have indicated over here. Okay, another thing is that you need to remember, or you can, what you could have done is you could have just indicated the total cost at every level of output. Okay, so at 1, it's there almost at 130, 250 more or less etc what you need to remember here is total cost minus fixed cost will equal variable cost so this area that is left over will always be your variable cost because my formula says how do I calculate total cost I say fixed cost plus variable cost gives total cost now if I want to um, calculate one of the other variables fixed cost or variable cost I would just say fixed cost equals 
total cost minus variable cost. Or if I want to calculate variable cost, I will just say total cost minus fixed cost. Right, that's our lesson for today. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I see we're not scheduled for tomorrow. So this is as far we're going to go. And on Monday is public holiday. Alright, so, but I will make sure I do that sketching for you. And I will send it as soon as possible for those three graphs. But as I said, I am going to repeat it in class again. Alright, stay safe.